Welcome to, to the, the Pop Tart Pod- Podcast. Don't say Pop Tart. Welcome to the Pop Tart <laughs> Podcast. Welcome to the Pop Tart. Welcome to the Poop I got it. I got it. Stop. You're oh gonna boy, mess me up. three a.m. You're gonna mess me up. Welcome to the Pop Top Podcast. We are Pop Top Disc Golf. My name is Jordan, and I promise the camera will not mess up again. My name is Justice, <laughs> and I promise the camera will probably overheat because it's been doing that. Uh, no. <laughs> so we will fix it. I so, don't know anyways, why. Um, on this podcast, Justin, what are we talking about today? We're Other ta- than camera issues, because it'll <laughs> that, happen. Uh, who knows? It won't. Uh, I promise. <laughs> it won't happen. We're talking about where disc golf will be in five years, and we're talking about iconic hole ones. Hole ones of, like, the most iconic hole Yes, ones. and then the comment of the week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and I guess first we fun. could talk about, we were talking about making this podcast weekly, but with how busy we are, we decided to go every two weeks for now. Yeah. So, and it, if it ramps up in popularity and all that, you know, we can move yeah. it to once a week and not a big deal. But just for like the beginning, we'll see. This is only episode three. I'm excited where this is going, yes. though. I'm very excited. It should. It's just a fun time to talk about disc golf, talk about whatever we want. I really. mean, so. we, we talk about disc golf probably. Our wives hate us. We talk about disc golf too much. Oh, yeah. They're like, hey, can you like do a <laughs> podcast so you can go talk to the camera and not to me? I'm trying to sleep. This, is just, this is just a phone call that we <laughs> normally do, and now it's just recorded. Now it's just recorded. Perfect. <laughs> hey, actually, I was thinking top five iconical ones. What do you think? That's a, that's <laughs> then, a normal yeah. phone call. It's actually more video ideas and <laughs> other things. But anyway, oh, uh, where do you see disc golf in five years? I'll just ask, ask that blatantly, like just straight up before I get into my uh, – my stuff that I researched. Oh, you did research. Congrats. Yeah, so I, where I, do you see disc golf in five years? Yeah. Where do I see it? Yeah. Um, Just in general, like anything. In general? Um, I, man, I don't know. Pro Tour is going to be done for sure. Oh, yeah. I knew that would fall. You called it. It was going to fall. It yeah. fell. All right. Uh, not nah, Pro Tour is going to be done. Pro Tour is going to be booming. We're, I think they're making like 12000 Dollars for a check, yeah. Bump that up to fifty, fifty thousand in five years. Five years. Why not? That's an I think average you know of what, like though? seven thousand each year that you it know, will go up. That yeah, is a lot. That is a lot. I was joking. Maybe um, twenty. Maybe twenty. But listen, listen. It's getting better. The pros are getting so good. <laughs> Everybody's getting good. Discs are flying. They are taking out courses that aren't worthy is that a good word maybe uh fountain hills uh oh, vegas that's been happening over the years vegas you know? isn't vegas is out not that they're not worthy they're great courses i played vegas it was so much fun i enjoyed every little bit of it Ooh. but it's it's too easy i think and they're trying to get into courses that one are spectator friendly which that is one thing is vegas it was very yeah, spectator friendly was. but I don't Here, know. Here's another one. Here's another one. I think I think uh, the live has to is going to get better. It's going to be watchable. The live has to get better. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's okay. It is okay now. Did you hear about the loophole? Should I say it? <laughs> no. Did you hear about the loophole? I did hear about the loophole. The loophole <laughs> is if you watch round one and don't click off. <laughs> you got to stay on watch round all two. Weekend. You got to stay on and all round weekend. three. And if you keep <laughs> just stayed on the page. You can keep watching for Infinitely. free. So the rest of your Disc life. Golf Network, if you see this. <laughs> they shouldn't because we just told them, told our people secrets that we're not supposed to know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Other than that, I mean, I think Disc Golf is growing still, but it is it is stagnating. I mean, I can, I can see that it's slowly. It's I mean, not a boom anymore. It might boom again, though. I do have some I stats that to, to explain the boom. Oh, sure. Go boom. Uh, do you know okay, when anywhere. we hit 250,000 members? 250,000 PDGA members? Yeah. It was last year. Last year. I and believe it was in May or March. I saw the article. Wow. I read it. I forgot the date because <laughs> wow. that wasn't part of where my stats were coming from. Oh, okay. uh, but yeah, I mean, so, and now I have the number. So, do you that, want me to guess the number? That does bring me to it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, where do you think how I, many I haven't looked members? I looked I looked like I was looking but now I think like 278 
I know we're over the two six two hundred ninety one thousand eight hundred and ninety. Oh we are That's ramping crazy. up. That was that was seven hours ago. It makes me want to check now, but I don't <laughs> want to find it. It was a it was a pain to find. So you, you but yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. It's the exact one, number. I should have got I'm the name of the person. I'm 151, 150,000. I'm 131519. Yeah, that's crazy. And we signed, we're new. We're babies. I'm uh, we're five, babies years, in this five years into the sport. Yeah, look at our collection. It's not even that cool. It's not even that much. <laughs> the amount I've given away. I know, <laughs> right? a lot. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so where, where do you see that number in five years? Wow. You got to go four. You gotta go four, five yeah. years. You gotta go over forty, four hundred. It's gained in in a year forty. So you, so yeah. do the math. Yeah, if it gains close to twenty five. each, yeah, close mm. to five. Is it growing that much? So over under, over under five. I'll say mm. under, under, under. But I'm the number actually... that you you want to know is active members. Do you have that number? No. Because okay, that's what you want to know. Because there's a lot of people like me who why, like, why does you still I guess play disc golf. I guess it's active. But. Are you talking about dead members? Dead members? No. I mean, there's like no, no, no. There's people that don't renew their membership, so that they're dead numbers. Yeah, but it, they're still a member. They still play disc golf. If you Maybe. got a if you got a PGGA number, you're Are at you least at level? competitive. Fair. At some point. Fair. All right. Which All right. means you do play disc golf and try to take it seriously. That's very interesting though. All right, hit me with the next number. Okay. Show me. Show uh, me the, the five how years many courses school. in the world? <laughs> I don't know. Just yeah, take a stab. 12,000. Is that Higher. pretty good? Higher. Higher. Wow. I thought I went way too high. It's approximate. It's not so, well, accurate. Yeah, sure, sure, I mean, sure. UDISC has some good numbers. Sure. Yeah. That. UDISC. I, reliable. For sure. What is it? 15,196. Wow. Where will that be in five years? You know, courses are harder to get put in, but I think it's turning... And there's a lot of places like Omaha, like we live in a place that is behind, I think. Yeah. In five years, you add two, three more courses in Omaha. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I've, no, not 20. That's not good. 20? Not 20. Definitely under 20. I'd even say definitely under 18, 18,000. Really? Yeah. I think courses are harder to get put in. And the standard is just going to go up and up and up. That is true. If I'm being honest. Like... For example, at least when I started, which was five years ago, uh, before COVID Jeez, and all that, um, there was <laughs> like I remember not playing on concrete pads very often. Like that was like a sweet. We got concrete. Now I feel like it's a necessity. But that makes the courses go up in price it's, for yes. cities and yes. blah 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 and private and blah blah blah. But it, it's almost standard. Like it is. Like I know people that will be like, oh, I, I don't want to play that course because one star review. <laughs> no concrete team. yeah mr one star mr uh, one star that's not us well i'm i'm thinking over 20 because i i wow. do think i think clubs are are getting more money because of more players and i just think it's getting it, the, the demand is getting higher and higher i would love to see that though. oh yeah oh i mean that is where what fun fact that. peter was like i wonder how that translate to ball translates to ball golf where do you think what number I, of courses yeah for ball golf? Yeah, just I, I have the number. You have the number? I don't have the Is exact over... number. I don't know. I never played. Just it. in the US alone, fifteen thousand five hundred ball golf courses. Wow. So they still out outnumber us at in the world, because I mean yeah. golf is almost yeah. bigger like in other countries than well, just yeah. the US. Mm, yeah. Maybe. So fun fact, but that's I feel crazy. like that is a big thing is disc golf is taking over a lot of ball golf courses as well. I well, bet I that mean, number was higher. There. There's room there. I mean, yeah. Jeez, that's great. Yeah. Give me uh, some more numbers, number guy. So the premium disc right now is around 20 bucks. Would oh, you say? I don't want to average, talk about it. Average. Ooh. Average. Sure. Between the Ricky like, Bosaki Bo- general yes, is I know. Like in my brain you're right like, now. You're like, oh, hurts. please. You're like, like, where's my wallet? Oh man! <laughs> so yeah, that that's why that's what kind of what started this whole thing. It's like, oh okay. So average twenty dollars. Uh, where do you see that in tw- five years? Where am I, I going to get 20? my Simon Lazat? Because he'll still be making money. My Simon Lazat. I'm not saying no, 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 no. I'm not talking about 
Oh, like, just stock stuff. Okay. Stock. Like, right. dude, a star, uh, just a standard Star Destroyer is like $18. Yes, that's And then there's good. some that's discs that fine. are still like 25 even though they don't have anything. <sighs> like some of those Ledgestone, they're still premium discs. They don't have it. It's not a, it's not a pro disc it's an, or whatever they're I called. Think, I think uh, Disc Golf prides itself in saying it is cheap, cheaper on the cheaper end. So I, don't, I do not think a stock run of something – goes over 30 will a major sports company get into disc golf nike adidas yeah. uh what are some other ones i can't even think right now those are like two big ones i mean for sure but yeah you don't nike think so because i think once a big company like that gets into you it think, but do you think uh, nike, the reason why like nike and it, like those companies is because their quality they're they're better yeah in a way they're they're high quality. How much quality do you need to improve on the Star Destroyer? On True. The, on the premium, like how much better could it get? I feel like the only because way I could get a DX Destroyer and I'd be happy. Would you? No, but <laughs> you know, but it's not like the DX Destroyer to the Star Destroyer is not that big of a difference. So I don't see, yeah, it getting much better. In quality, so I even if like Nike comes in with a line of discs and a line of whatever and blah blah yeah. blah, you really think they're going to charge fifty bucks a disc, forty bucks a disc? I don't know. Uh, you think people would pay for that? I don't know. I, I'm curious uh, I to know. see the general numbers. The general numbers that would, but be that the is that is a um, that is that's crazy. But I've paid thirty dollars for a disc. I'm I don't. Uh, I paid fifty. Well, yeah, but that's for special dyes and whatever. that is so, for yeah. So, I, I don't think it goes over 30 for like a stock run. You're saying th it's going to get to 30 or not go over 30? I don't 30. think it will ever get to So what's the 30. number it will get 28. to? 28. 28? You think, you think we'll be paying 28 bucks? That's probably a $10 increase. 25. Okay. 25. I mean, we'll see. Five years. What do you think? Mark it down. I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I'm thinking about 25. Yeah, okay. I think, I think death and it will the, uh, the pro... The pro uh, Tour discs or whatever. What are they the called? Tour series. Tour series. That's what it is. You think we'll, those will we'll get be over thirty? I think yeah. th that's maybe what I'm thinking. Like those will be. Thir they're twenty. Uh, thirty to thirty-five. They're that's expensive one. right now. They're they're thirty. They're thirty right yeah, now. And there's so many of them. They're twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. And eh. then there's the Nate Sextons of the world. I mean, I remember buying. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it doesn't matter. That's a rabbit hole. Because yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Highest uh, rating. Okay. Like rating men's and women's. Sure. Who is men's right now? Highest rated player. Scannerber. Yeah. What's his rating? Is he is he highest ever? Is he ten fifty five? Ten fifty one. As of 51. right now, okay, he's the yeah. highest. I know I know the top player. I know Ricky is like ten forty nine. I think I think Calvin is ten forty nine. I can't Jeez. remember the exact because I was looking at the but top. He, in their in their heyday of twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one and all that stuff, Eagle and all them were like ten fifty five, ten fifty six. Yeah. Ricky and Paul and all that. So where were where will the MPO highest rated player See, that, be in that, five years? I, I think that's harder to judge because oh, for they sure. will get so much better in five and years. And courses will get harder. And courses will get harder. So I think they stay the same. If not, go a little down. Down? down? I'm thinking the same. I really think they'll go down. But <laughs> there will be more 1049 guys, 1045 guys than there are... You know what I mean? Then, yeah. uh, then, like honestly, the the level between ten thirty five to ten forty five is like next level because those guys will have to be averaging, average. Okay, average. so you have to know this. This is a gimme. This is a gimme. Okay. Well, I miss those. <laughs> Who's leading FPL? FPL? Oh, uh, uh, Kristen. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> she is a thousand rated. I don't know if it's a thousand one or something like that. It's exactly a thousand. Yeah. Okay. I did so, not get the grace. I'm so mad. I do think she's <laughs> going to be going down, though. You think so? I, I think after these last couple of tournaments. Yeah, she, but she did. She did win. Uh, she did win uh, European Open. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't remember seeing what her ratings were exactly because of kids and but all FPO, that. It's hard to watch FPO all that is also coverage. Getting better. I think FPO gets better. Overall. I think FPO yeah. gets better. You think multiple. The floor, the floor will come. The floor will come up. And Similar to that, the, the, the Paul McBeth thing. The Paul McBeth dominating, and then everyone else was like, "No, oh, we gotta beat this guy." Yeah, I mean the same and thing. And now with Paul Page. McBeth is still 
playing good. Everyone else is playing good or better now. If, yeah, if not. That's the difference. Yeah. And yep. I think we're seeing that in the last year or two with Tatar. Yeah, I think so. Because you saw that thing with Paige Pierce. She was just chilling. It felt so like. So you're thinking like... And then now she, 1, needs, to, she needs to... That's what I'm thinking. No, 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 no. Not that much. But like 1,000. 10, 10. 10, 10? 10, 10. Shout out. Shout out 10, 10. <laughs> I don't have a shirt. Yeah, <laughs> but I. Anyway. I'm not wearing a shirt. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> You are wearing a shirt. You have more numbers, number guy? <laughs> yes, Look I got my you. last one. Okay, last, last one. Here we go. Highest yeah. rated round MPO. Of all time. Yes. Of all time. It's 11.08. No, it's that's the distance numbers. <laughs> <laughs> one of those discount I don't numbers. think that will change. It is 1,100 and like 18, something like that. 11.32. Oh, my God. By gosh. who? Paul McBeth. Fountain Hills. 2013. Yep. Yep. Fountain Hills. That one's easy. Yeah. Uh, you think that will be beaten? Yes. I really? think somebody goes, well, you know what? Ratings are so dumb because uh, they you kind get, of are. I think I, I, no I heard someone, them. someone was talking about it on a, on something I was watching and they said 18 down at Fountain Hills and 18 down at Northwood Black are not that different in rating. And that's they stupid. Exactly. You could go into Northwood Black and shoot a perfect round and it's not the best round in the world rating wise. It might not be. Because it, it it is determined by field, yeah. So it's it's just kind of like okay, but pretty much everyone has be, to play really bad, and then one yeah, person everybody has to play plays really a, good. If everybody <laughs> plays like a stinker, and someone shoots a perfect round. Yeah, I could see it happening. That makes sense. Yeah. But ratings are so funny. I think that you know what though. In five years, I think there's going to be a better rating system. I think there's going to be an hopefully there's going to be an interesting switch. I know ratings at least have been in there. the pro tour or. At least in the pro tour, I don't. It, it, amateur wise, in city to city, it doesn't matter too much to me. But the pro tour I mean, will figure it out because they're doing pro cards or pro tour card card stuff, and they're doing this. And I think there's going to be uh, a big difference. Yeah. Don't even get me started on ratings. <laughs> don't even. Oh, that's that's so, like a so, after. Oh, I freaking. Who who do you think will get it? Oh, jeez, it's got to be AB then. Really? Yeah. yeah that's I mean, he's like twelve. No, just kidding. He's like eighteen. <laughs> No, he's not. He's like 22. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know any ages. <laughs> I'm not that old. Okay. Or that young. <laughs> Uneducated podcast, baby. <laughs> okay. Okay. Women's. Women's. Highest women's. Highest rated, rated rounds. Round. It's got to be like 1045. No, it's got to be way more. What is it? 1059. 1059. Who? <laughs> I don't know. Like, take a stab at something it. Something weird, like Jennifer Allen or something. <laughs> no, <laughs> not that she's weird. I mean, I'll what give you the it? date: twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Oh, then it's gonna be Paige Pierce. Yeah, dominance. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, if Absolute I give you the date, dominance. you're gonna get it. It Absolute. was at Jonesboro. Oh, dominance. I didn't know about that. It was before I started, like right before I started, and that's funny because I lived like an hour from Jonesboro, and I still never got to play it. That's sad. Yeah, we gotta go. But yeah, where do you where do you think? Uh, that I beat? mean, the best beat? rated round, again, ratings are weird. I think that might stand for a long, long time because that's really good. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that like, is. Think about this. That is shooting the hot round or second or third on in, the MPO. In the MPO, yeah. Which, not, that's insane. Like, I don't, they those guys do it all the time. layout, but that's yes, insane. yes, yes. It's insane. So, I don't, yes. again, ratings are hard to judge off of. Though. Ratings are all over the place. I don't know. I mean, nine. We we learn nine hundred rated golf in six different states. They're all. It's all different. It's all different. And so. depending on the course, don't like. Sure. Said, like I said, don't don't get yeah, started. That was that's where you will. You think disc golf will be in five years? Yeah, I think so. I think it's in a good. I think it's in a good place. I think it's in good hands with the young guys on the pro tour. I think they're pushing the sport in a in a good way, in a in a healthy way, and all that. And and everything's moving forward. I think. Yeah. And and there's more guys like us too. Because in a way, we push the sport forward. Good job, Justice. I hope. I mean, th- we've gotten some comments about like getting people back into it, yeah, or getting people yeah. even into so, it. You know, I think we've gotten some of our family into it that we haven't talked to in a long time, and they so that it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. But, grow the sport. We are on grow the sport. Yeah, pop top hashtag grow the sport. It Thank will you. be interesting to look at this back in five years from now and just be like. Holy cow, it's changed. We nailed it. Or we nailed it, or you nailed it. I just bought a $70 general. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I'm pumped. The general seven. <laughs> oh, and I'm pumped. I'm pumped for that brand new 
premium Nike general, baby. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Let's get to some top five. This is my top okay. five. Okay. I want to okay. make this a segment where you have to rank um, things blindly. You, you've seen that trend. You know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, rank these blindly. Have fun. And yeah. I'll give you five. And you got to rank them, okay? So, these are... The most iconic hole ones, the, the most iconic starting holes. Some of them, I looked it up, they switched them around. So I was going to like do Jonesboro because I love that hole. It's like a 450 love that bomb hole. sauce. Yep. Love it. They switched it up. I looked and it was like, hole one is the downhill one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, seriously? They, why would they? Ah, that messes up the iconicness. Ah, come on. Yes. Oh, yeah. So I'm not doing Jonesboro. I was going to do Jonesboro, but I'm not. All right. You ready for my list? I hope Definitely you, not. If you don't know these, <laughs> if you don't know one, I will look it up for you. The thing is, is like once I got I, one kid, I watch so much. Two kids, I can't watch anything by myself. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Kids kind of. Three kids don't on the way now. Disc golf. They I'm don't want to watch disc golf. The they want to watch Paw Patrol and that's fine. Actually, my daughter wants to watch disc golf, but disc she wants cool. to watch Pop Top. <laughs> yeah. So. so I watch myself play disc golf, which is definitely not pro tour level. <laughs> New. <laughs> wow, iconic hole one. Oxbow. No, uh, that's not what I'm saying. Hummel. Hummel. Hummel yeah. is Hummel a pretty iconic, iconic hole one. But uh, no, all right, great. all right, here we go, here we go, here we okay, go. Okay, here we go. All right. Close my eyes, picturing me standing on a Rank tee. these blindly. Okay. Rank these top whole ones blindly. Top five. Emporia Country Club. I know it's changed the champion. The league, the par four. The par five. Is it the par five with the green on the left of the basket with the road on the right? That, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bomb. It's such a I cool hole for them to start on. I think so. I think, uh, it's, I think it's pretty cool. But... Uh, Four. Oh wow! Really? It's, it's. I'm not saying the I'm best try, hole. I know, I know, and I'm trying to think of other ones, and I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> Is there, like, if I played it, if I played that course, one, I would not be remembering hole one. You would. I'd be remembering hole sixteen or whatever hole that was. Is true. Is it sixteen. It's, now, that's why it's the starting hole. It's not the. Yes, yes, yes. I know, but I'm, I'm saying. Would I be excited to tee off on that hole? Yes, I'd be happy I would to be tee off. Pumped. Yes. It's a big bomb. I love it. Throw it into the neighborhood. Uh, hit some hit nice a house. Car. Hit a house. Shout out, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> hit a house. <laughs> yeah, so four. Uh, wow, okay, four. All right. I, you know what? I'm not going to tell you anything. <laughs> I know, All right. I was going to put a sleeper in there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You ready? Yeah. All right. Hole number one at USDGC. Oh, what is that one? I knew you I, were going to know. I know, I know. I knew you weren't going to know that. And, and, and it's, what is, I can't, I you literally can't think, cannot I think of it. I knew you couldn't think of it. I'll once I up. see it. I'll once, pull it up. For once you. I see it, I'll be like, yeah. I'll though. pull it up. And I think, yeah. I, are we I'm, doing, are I'm we doing pictures? Are we doing pictures for the, for the fans at home? Sure. I'm literally I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking of whole ones because personally my favorite now course to watch, my favorite whole one, I'm not going to say it because I don't know what you have picked but man i, I love that hole because you know i'm gonna say it. i don't think you put it i'm gonna say it one of my favorites at least one of my favorite tournaments do you want me to say it what out of wild i love that tournament oh okay i think it's the coolest tournament all right where are you and that whole I'm one sorry, i love I'm, it because they can it eagle it i think it's so cool to start off with an eagle that is like yeah. that is one of the coolest holes yeah. And I don't know if you picked it, but we'll see. Oh, sorry. I. Oh, wait. No, this is the amateur event. Okay. I just got it. I'll just scroll the whole one. Don't <laughs> you mind me. You should have been prepared. I was prepared with stats. I, and and no, you're like, I, the thing is, is I just I, haven't watched I don't know in why. like two years because I'm so busy. I don't, I'm shocked you don't. Editing and kids and that's not stay it. at home. You know, the, the, pro the and problem and is. Podcast. Is. Uh, <laughs> The problem is, is the coverage on for USDGC is super duper hard to find because they do it a different way. So don't mind me. You'll, oh, you'll oh, like oh, yeah. I think I saw it right there. Is it the downhill? Yeah, this one's sweet. I yeah, I've seen it. I do like this one. I'm gonna put it. Oh, I would be pumped to throw that shot. But man, that course is I I don't know why that course like was not in my mind. But yeah, that course is awesome. It's my it's my favorite tournament to watch. Uh 
Oh, I want to say two or three, and I can't think of which one to put it in three. I'm going to put a three. <laughs> that is... Oh, it's so good, but there... I'm think, thinking of others listen, that I'm like... Listen, buddy. You put it at three, you're locking it in. You locked it in, but I'm I'm here to tell you, think of the playoffs that have been won on that hole. True. Oh, man, you missed out. You put it at three, you Well, fool. yeah, but that's hole 19, not hole one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but it's hole one. Like, how I many know, playoffs know, have been won on that hole, on that loop? Oh, it's, it's my favorite tournament. All right. Now, next one. Yeah. I think you'll love this. Uh, where are you going to put Idlewild? You did do it. <laughs> oh, the big par four. I love this hole. This is a good hole. I good don't know course. what you have next, and that's the hard part. But I said it was my favorite, and you're going to kill me because it's not the most iconic. If you put the other holes that I'm thinking of, so I, I'm I'm going to put it at two because I don't know what I else you put. at two for iconic holes. Are you happy with this? One? <laughs> it's it's my favorite hole. I love I love people being able to eagle because it's also like a raised basket. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cool. All right, this cool. Is, this, as long as you're happy, I don't care. It's your opinion, man. Like iconic is such a weird term because I'm just thinking I'm, of me personally, and that's so much harder. Because yeah, iconic. if if you if you show a, a picture of that and some other holes, it's, people aren't going to be like that's iconic. No, no, but it's like. Not. All I know is standing on the tee of that hole, I'd be hyped and probably take a six. Yeah, you would. You would take a 50. <laughs> so you, you locked mean, it in at two. Yeah, I'm locked in. You're going to. Uh, you ready? Obviously, my opinions are terrible. No. Just look at the baskets from like three weeks ago. <laughs> no, no, your opinions are great. <laughs> next one. Next one. I think your list is coming together. I think you got it. I yeah. think it's a little mixed up in the middle. But if that's you okay. say it, I'm saying it. Uh, Waco. <laughs> Oh, what the, the heck? Beast. That's five. Yeah, that's five. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Great hole. Not, not, not iconic. iconic. <laughs> it's kind of lame. It's a cool hole. I'm so mad you left five open. I, I left five like, open. That was, my five. that was my five slot. You put something at five and have to put Waco at like three or two, and I would have just laughed at you. But no, good, job, good, job, good job. Good job. If you good say job. it, if you say it, my list is good. All right, say it together. One, two, three. Maple Hill. Maple Hill. Yeah. You got it. All right. Maple Hill one. Yeah. Yeah. Maple I, Hill is, is the standing iconic on that hole. It is the iconic hole one. Oh, yeah. For sure. It might be one of the best courses in the world. I've never played it. No. <laughs> neither we have I. Oh, we should go. We should go. We should go. I can't wait to throw a disc in that water. Mm hmm. Now, people say, like, the smell of the pine trees and, like, Christmas, Santa, all that stuff. Yeah. The I, 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 we we should go. How far is it? Fifteen hours, twenty hours. Too far. Twenty five. But it would be dang fun. That would be that would be the funnest trip ever. Uh, we'll do it eventually. Yeah, I think. So. I list. think I think everybody has to do those things as a disc golfer, as like a hardcore disc golfer. You almost have I want to play idle. You but... almost have to go to those. Do you agree with my list? Absolutely not. What would you switch? Okay, nothing. Okay. Okay, Maple okay, Hill okay. one, Maple yes. Hill, Maple Hill, USDGC, um, Country Club. Uh, really, Country Club at three? It's one of those holes that they used to do the music. Oh yeah, they did. That, that is was true. Pretty sweet. That was sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah. So they used to do that. Um, yeah, it's and good vibes generally. So I just and then the and then I think chance. I think uh, um, iconic probably hole four and then. But th those last two are inter interchangeable hole for four. me. Uh, hole four. Uh, number four, uh, Idlewild. I Idlewild. Idlewild and uh, Waco's Waco. like 15. Probably. <laughs> it's probably way down there. But but it it also probably one of the most iconic <laughs> hole 18s. Uh, yeah. yeah. One over the water. Yeah. Wait. What? What one? Oh, Waco. 18, 18. Waco. Yes, we will do another top five where we do top five other stuff. So 18s? let me know if you like this. 18s? You know what wins? <laughs> this is the fort, man. <laughs> not just not just, the par four, the the spot. They have a tee pad now. Just that spot. Just that spot. <laughs> I've played that spot. It's that, I've been I was, on that. I was two I hours fort, from that man. spot. I love the fort. And I didn't go because I was camping and I was kind of sad. But anyway. Uh, well, that's, that's my top five. Good job with the list. Uh, let's go to comment of the day. Comment of the week. Comment, comment of, of the, the of the week. Double so, week or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Our comment of the week was just a truth bomb because not only did my wife say it and your wife say it, I think and everyone I we it. talked to said this. 
all at the same time. So so David Caressed, I think, I don't know, 3746, said, this video made me itchy. <laughs> and I just think that's so funny. You just like, it was like the first comment on that video. We, yep. we did an ace challenge and there was mosquitoes everywhere and we got bitten. And then <laughs> just like the first comment we see come across the video is, this video made me itchy. And I was like... Me editing yep. the video made me itchy. It was it was terrible. Worst mosquitoes ever. And you know what? It's just been bad all year. It's been, yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's bad. been a bad year for disc golf. <laughs> for us, at least. Rough, Maybe for the everyone else in the U.S. Let us know if you have mosquito problems right now. Because it is bad. It is so bad. We right did now. just play Glow, and it is bad. So there you Still. go. Good comment of the week, because everybody said it. But you said it first. Good job. That's the true YouTube first. <laughs> Yeah, so comment on our videos, and maybe you can... Um, and we just yeah. get a good chuckle out of it, man, so just keep them coming. Yeah, we love We, we love them. them. Yeah. We love all and... All. <laughs> okay. Even the bad ones. Well... We love you. I had nothing else. Did you have no. anything else? No. We're good. We're all done. Cool. Well, yeah, let us know what you like about this podcast. What would you like to see? Um, yep. And, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to end these. You just end them. You just end them just like that? Yeah. Just like a snap of a finger.